pretty much for free the whole time. And it's just a matter of how can you bounce back from that. I'm actually curious to see if this will be a Krom matchup for Carflow, but nope, sticking with the tried and true Roy. We yeah. are <laughs> full on gas, pressing down on the gas. Here we go. Three, two, one, so go! starting in on PS2, I think fairly neutral stage for both characters. Carflow already holding forward. You are you already know. Carflow's on screen, he's holding W, but <laughs> Dumpling King says <laughs> back up. Hold up. Dumpling King said, let me hit you with three moves and do 73%. <laughs> yep. And I mean, that's that's just the Ganon difference. Our, ooh, no oh, he's tech gone. on the Blazer, and that is going to be a stock for Carflow already. 25 seconds in, but getting the late dash attack into uh, conversions for Dumpling King. I'm surprised he made it back. I, I stopped mid-sentence real quick. I was like, wait a minute. Ganon's recovery is sneaky, but as we were saying before the match started, you're just going to have to hold that 60 to 70% at the start of every stock every time. Ooh. Yep, great tech by Carflow into the forward air. And Ganon is still back. Yep, Carflow, and, but Carflow just keeping the pressure on. Once again, you know Carflow is tagging that. Not yeah. able to get a follow-up, though. No punish on the dash deck either. Beautiful back air out of shield. Carfrell really going for these uh, edge guards. I like to see it. Um, you know, kind of not so uncommon for Roy's. Uh, obviously, that fair off stage is very nice if you're able to read your opponent coming back and, and see where they're headed. But oh my goodness, yeah, that was a beautiful conversion there. Oh, and okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that's just Carflow playing to the win condition. You have a character with yeah. as exploitable as a recovery as Ganon did. Carflow did save the jump there, so he's coming right back in and not really having any faith in Dumpling King's uh, ledge pressure. Carflow has just come off of ledge with mashing side B several times, and it's worked out for him quite a bit. Thrown out the blazer as well. Super armor going to be huge in this particular matchup. Oh, Ooh, that time, God. though, you didn't come up mashing and see what happens. I feel like Dumpling King definitely ate their dinner because they're just hitting with the thickness right now. <laughs> that was incredible. What a fair. Ooh. That fair is so scary. Even on shield, you get scared, you know? Like, oh, my God, how many can I take? That's <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> He's pressing buttons right now. Ooh, not able to All get right. the jab off of the side B. Carflow's stock is suddenly on notice. Oh. Gets the down air. Looking for a follow-up, but not quite finding. Woo! Oh, I hate that move so much. <laughs> yeah, be on the look. Oh, Ooh, back up. The little poke. Oh, held down, and Dumpling King is going to be taking game Yo, one. this cannon is insane. <laughs> Dumpling King, what is going on right now? I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as, as we were saying before the start of this set, you know, very explosive matchup and Carflow definitely getting those conversions early on. But Dumpling King said, listen, I ate my dinner. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm fully digested. I'm going to hit you with everything that I got. And hitting you <laughs> indeed is what I did. He's so strong. <laughs> He's Ridiculous. So str that's a Triforce of Power. All right, we're going game two here. And we are on Town and City. Definitely one of Roy's best stages. You know, that side B uh, to the right or to the left of the stage is going to kill super early. So if Carflow does a good job of landing these conversions to 50, 60 percent, that was sick. Oh, my God. Absolutely a fantastic stage for Roy, but not a terrible stage for Ganon either. We saw in game one, Dumpling King was not hurting for kill potential. And if True. he's... If Carflow is at like 50, his stock is on notice. But just like that, just like you were saying, playing to the win condition, you're on town and city, you press side B as Roy, and you get kills with only 8%. Absolutely. And if Carflow is able to withstand the onslaught from Dumpling King and, you know, live to pretty high percents, that side B or jab back air is going to start killing super early. So be on the lookout. But Dumpling King doing a good job here, lands the Nair. Beautiful Nair again, and is he going to contest Carflow of State? Oh, what? oh my God! Uh, okay, Dumpling King, I see you. Could have just gone for like the easy for real. forward tilt, probably would have killed, but instead wanted to go for something goofy. And instead, you're maybe going to be three stocks to one soon. Dumpling King saw blood. He said, "I'm going to land the most violent option possible," but didn't. 
you but know what? For it. <laughs> I I respect it sometimes. Sometimes 100%. sometimes you want the clip instead of the kill, but sometimes it it don't it doesn't work out. Ooh, no oh. tech from Carflow, and yeah. this is where game one was, where it was Carflow's game until very suddenly it wasn't. Yeah, hundred percent. So we will see if uh, Warlock Lightning can strike twice for Dumpling King. What was that up smash out of shield? What character do you think you are? <laughs> he thinks he's Ganondorf. <laughs> he Ganondorf. knows he's Ganondorf, but Carflow knows that he's Roy in real life. Yeah, Carflow he's got the fire. Yeah, hundred percent. And, and Carflow, I feel like that game definitely did a good job of sticking to the game plan, not going for any funny, you know, funniness, just really going for it. Oh, Skeet with the sub. Appreciate Yo, what you. Up, Skeet? Thank you, Skeet. Where you been at, Skeet? Come back. I'm Give back, us the Skeet. pain we of Kazuya you. Mishima. Please. So again, here, Carflow just landing those conversions and then taking the stock as quickly as they can uh, off the side. But yeah, these nares and that's such a beautiful conversion. I, it's very interesting because you typically will see the fair as opposed to just the quick turnaround back yep. air. Uh, Why is Dumpling King? He had like the raised eyebrow, like. Mm -hmm. Was, was he cooking? He is. Dumpling King is. Oh. Does he know? Does he know? I don't. I don't know what stage we're going to. Uh, PS2. Car, car, okay, yeah. Oh, Carflow okay, strike okay. or struck, struck FD and small battlefield, and we are going to be going right back into PS2 once again. The game or the stage that Dumpling King won game one on. So. Maybe we're going to see if a miracle happens once again or if Carflow will continue the pressure that he is so well known for. You know what I'm just realizing, Armor? What's up? There is a Ganondorf in winner's quarters of Xena. Uh, yeah. He was seated uh, 21st. Really? So, Dang. Yeah, took things over uh, Jazzy G as well. Also not a, Another no small great feat. player too. Bayonetta, right? Yep. Oh, wow. Ganon Bayo sounds like hell. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like another matchup where it's like, I'm winning, I'm winning, and then suddenly your stocks are gone. There. Oh, has to use the air dodge to make it back, but gets hit by the uh, the ending hitbox of Uppy, and Dumpling King making it back. We are still living with both stocks, but no, Carflow is going to be taking first blood, but gets back air first troubles. Dumpling King going super deep for this potential edge guard and giving Carflow all the space he needs in center stage to set up for some extra credit. Well, all right, and I also like that Carflow is kind of respecting the uh, yeah. space a little bit more because we saw how game one went where oh, he went off and <laughs> you don't tech and you die. Yeah. I could definitely, I totally agree with you, Armor. You know, Carflow is doing a good job of trying to be a, a bit more patient. Though, though you have the buttons to really make Ganondorf's life a living hell. You gotta, oh, wow. Okay. I think Run that was. Dodge. I think that was actually beneficial for Dumpling King to get hit there instead of yeah. take the uh, double edge dance on the shield, which certainly would have broken it. Yeah. Once again, the up smash is out of shields. Dumpling King knows something that we don't about this character. That time, though, if you're up smashing like a Roy up smash, yeah, go ahead, go for it. Live, live your best life. <laughs> oh, this. Uh oh, is oh. Yeah. yeah. Once again, Carflow with the. Roy up smash, definitely not a move that you see very often, and that's because it can be punished by Ganon up smash out of shield. <laughs> Ooh, what a parry! Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. This is just, you know, live as long as you can before Ganondorf li <laughs> lands one of those smash attacks. Current objective, oh. survive. Oh. Oh. The Doria coming out. Okay. Alright, but F-Tilt, get up off of me. Carflow, you gotta get this stock right now, because this is this is danger zone. Forty nine percent, you're dying. Look at how red Dumpling King is flashing. That is an angry Ganondorf. Ganondorf about to transform. <laughs> Ooh, the Ooh. warlock kick into center stage gets caught, but Dumpling King's still living. Carflow's gotta find this stock. Dumpling King is doing a fantastic job oh. of really going super low and like super vertical where Carflow can't really go for those fares off. Like, he will fucking there. die! Yeah, and yeah. He's, <laughs> he's a heavy boy. Uh oh. oh he's so fat! Okay, okay, though. Finally, the up air catching Dumpling King jumping out of shield. Carflow can breathe a little bit easier, but so can Dumpling King, who can start to hold forward a little bit more without having to worry about getting sent into the stratosphere. Uh oh. 
One thing that I find interesting is that Carflow's picking and choosing oh, when and when does not Use want to jump. engage. Oh, there's another back. Oh, great weave from Dumpling King and able to make it back onto ledge. This is an even game. How did that forward air not hit? That was so close. Oh, not like that. Dang. That's unfortunate. No way that's how that set ended. I feel like it's fitting. The life of Ganondorf. You're so close to having the life that you want, but yet you're going to prevent yourself from having it anyway. You know, the, <laughs> brightest, the brightest stars burn out the quickest. Yeah. Dang, that's unfortunate. Well, hey, Dumpling King, still, you know, that was winner's quarters, which is super impressive for a Ganon to make it that far when you got the likes of We Fit Trainer, <coughs> John, Sonic, <laughs> Bayonetta, everyone. So very nicely done by Dumpling King. Hopefully we see them come through more often. But Carful is going to continue on, and Dumpling King will be in losers. We'll see if they can yeah. make the run back. I got to say, I do not envy those who are currently in losers and are going to have to fight this I game. Know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If I'm watching that in, on the couch out there, I'm just like, okay, this Ganon, I'm just going to go home. I, I don't want to deal with the stress. <laughs> but, but, yeah, <laughs> that all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, can, can we see that again? I guess he used his jump a little bit earlier and th he thought he had it. Because he was... Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah. Gets sent off stage. Yeah. No, he yeah. just didn't use his double he did, jump. He didn't yeah. jump. Yeah. I think he overestimated the Ganon magnet hands, which... Don't get me wrong. He came close. He was like... Yeah. 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 Those are strong magnet hands. Ganondorf. Yeah. See ya. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that was that was so exciting. Actually, that was super hype. Uh, and speaking of exciting, we have a fantastic matchup coming up right right now. I mean, we got our very own House of Three Thousand.